Hi guys. So today we are going to be aerating this customer's lawn. Now there's many ways you can aerate a lawn. You can aerate a lawn with sandals, which puts very thin, small, spiky holes in your lawn, which has a little bit of help. It's not as good as hollow tine aeration. Then you can use a garden fork, which is better. It's punching holes in the ground, but you're pushing soil further down so you are compacting the ground but as a short term measure forking your ground is great then we've got manual hollow tine aerators and these are ones you can buy for 20 30 pounds up to 60 70 pounds you stand on them push them into the ground and pull them out then we progress onto machinery which is obviously the most expensive option but it's the most efficient option if you're working for yourself you've got your own business it is the way to go because you can get the lawns done pretty quick um, and then the time taken is really just clearing up so for clearing up I recommend it these plastic bulldog rakes um, these for me are the better ones for raking up the cores and the first thing I will do is use the blower to get the cores into a sort of pile or a line where we can rate them up and pick them up. So let's crack on. So, why do we actually hollow tine a lawn? Well, what we're doing, you can see there, under the machine, the hollow tines, which spin round, punch a hole in the ground, and pull a core of soil out. Okay, you'll see that in a second. But what we are doing, when we've punched a hole in the ground, that allows air, rain, nutrients to get down to the root zone. And that's kind of an important thing. If your lawn's got thatch in it, things can't get down through that thatch layer very fast and they tend to just sit there. Nutrients sit on top, water takes a long time, like a bath sponge, like a thatch roof, it sits there. So a thatched roof is designed to prevent water getting in the house. It's the same on your lawn or similar. So that layer of thatch needs scarifying out. Once you've cleared that out, you've got the blades of grass and then you've got the ground. So if the ground is hard and compacted, which it does, every time you walk on it, you are slowly compressing those air particles out. And it's the air particles that are in and around the soil. Okay? And you want a nice fluffy aerated soil which enables the roots to spread out and fill those voids the nutrients can get down easier the rain can get down easier and the grass can thrive and this is what they do on golf courses year after year after year so we can do that on our own lawns and get a nicer lawn and it does make a difference of all the lawns where they've only had it aerated you can see the difference a few months down the line during the summer when it's looking a lot greener than it had the year before so let's crack on and uh, let's get this lawn aerated.
So as you can see, the holes every three inches on a staggered basis, and the cores will start ejecting once it's uh, gone around a few times. But we put our fingers in, we're down to the knuckle there, which is about an inch and a quarter, something like that. That one's a bit deeper. That's to there. That's about an inch on that piece. So this is what we do guys, this is something you need to do to your lawns regular, once a year, possibly twice a year. Um, and you can always put a bit of top dressing in there if you wish. But eventually those holes will close. And um, as they close with the pressure of the surrounding soil, that will loosen the soil in the other areas. Right, so that's been aerated, you can see the holes, you can see the holes all over the lawn and all the cores. So if you wanted to rake all these up, just it's quite daunting when you look at it and you think, oh god I've got to rake all these up, it's going to take hours. If you use a blower, you can get them up pretty quick. Um, the other thing is, is if you do hire a machine, or you get a machine, clean your wheels and clean your boots in between lawns when you go back onto the hard surface because you will end up with lines where the wheels have gone of mud and it's horrible and it's a nightmare to get up. Five minutes, just clean them down. A paint scraper works wonders or you can just scrape it off with your gloves um, with your hands in your gloves obviously and just peek it off. So that's been aerated now and everything's cleared up. I'll just uh, show you what we're, what we're on with. So we've got everything into piles. Um, for me, that's the quickest and efficient way of doing things. Um, altogether, this job's probably an hour, hour and a half. Um, it's took me a bit longer while I've got the camera out. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, the ground is aerated and that's just fantastic. It's just going to do it the world of good. It's going to hear it breathe. So what do you do with the soil? Well, depends what the soil's like and what your plans are, whether you're seeding, etc. But anyway, as for now, if it's clay, which this is, and you give it a squeeze, you can feel it's clay. 
it's just sticky and holds together and there's a little bit of thatch in the lawn as you can see that layer of thatch there so by aerating we've also removed some thatch from the lawn so it's going to do it some good as well so when it's clay you need to get it out and get it gone so if you've only got a little bit you can probably put it in your garden waste bin um, but it's not advisable most councils don't really like soil in the bins um, but a little bit I'm sure is fine if you put some grass in with it as well um, but I'm not telling you to do that so what we do we just bag it up and uh, to be disposed of so that's what we're going to do now and I'm going to show my little trick where I become a dog ways to get these piles up But over the 20 years I've been treating lawns, for me, the quickest way to get them into bags is by becoming a dog. So I'm going to show you what I mean. Who let the dogs out? Just open your bag up. One heel, two heel, are you ready? Lift and... Woo! So there you have it. So we get this cleared up and this wall, this lawn is just gonna thrive. Right, so that's it, all aerated, all done. We'll just get it tied up and we'll shoot off and we'll see you on the next one. Machinery can just make life so much easier. Hour and a half for this, probably an hour normally. Um, and all sorted just get rid of the waste take it to your local tip and uh, get some compost in those holes that'll be for another video you'll see that when we start renovating and getting further on into the season so we'll see you on the next one